What on earth is the uh, Department of Home Security in America doing fighting Harry's battles? Why are Joe Biden's goons trying to keep his visa application <laughs> secret? Why do they care so much? Uh, if he uh, took drugs, has he admitted it in that visa application? Or if he hasn't, he's clearly lied or potentially has lied. Uh, and uh, frankly, uh, the way the Department of Home Security is going about it, the way Gut Biden's goons are going about it, uh, they're, they're clearly treating this guy as a special case. And as I said, this is un-American. Well, thank you very much for having me on the show uh, today. And uh, I, I did enjoy your, your monologue on this, this issue a few days ago. Uh, and uh, you make great points there. Why on earth is the Biden administration fighting tooth and nail to stop the release of Prince Harry's immigration uh, records? And at the Heritage Foundation, we have been calling for the release of those records. We had to sue the Department of Homeland Security uh, in order to get any movement on this. And just last week, uh, as you mentioned, a federal judge in the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., ordered the Department of Homeland Security to hand over Harry's immigration application to the judge for his own review in camera. And the deadline has been given to uh, the Biden administration of March 21st to hand over the documents to the judge. The judge is going to, going to review those, those documents. Uh, we are calling for those documents to be released to the American people so the American people can see exactly what's in those, those documents. And without any doubt, I think that if the judge uh, sees any kind of wrongdoing in terms of this application, uh, then I think that in typical, typical cases like this, you would see the release of those records to the, to the public. So we'll have to see what happens. Uh, but very significant developments just in the past few days. So very encouraging, very positive as far as we're concerned. And if the judge does see wrongdoing, if it turns out he says he took drugs and he was allowed in or he lied about it, um, could that actually result in him essentially being told you've got to leave the country? You've got to... Yeah, so uh, lying on an immigration uh, application uh, is a very serious offence. It's a criminal offence. Normally that would result in deportation uh, from, the, from the United States. Now, if, uh, if there was a case of favoritism towards Harry uh, demonstrated by, by U.S. officials, that's also, of course, a very, uh, a very a serious uh, matter. But, uh, but the consequences, I think, are very, very severe, uh, especially if, uh, if Harry did, in fact, lie on the application. We'll have to see uh, if he lied or not. Uh, and that, that, I think, is critically important. But there's also a broader question, Alex, as you've mentioned, about whether or not he received some kind of preferential treatment, some kind of, of, of waiver, which normally would be a very detailed, long-term process. Mm. Uh, and so uh, we, we, want, we want to know exactly what's in those documents. Uh, no, no one knows outside of the, the Biden administration. Why are they fighting so hard to stop the release of these, well, these documents? These are forms are very sacred uh, in, in America. G.K. Chesterton, when he went over, uh, there's one question, which is, do you, call, do you intend in any way to cause mayhem or insurrection while you're in the United States? And he put sole purpose of visit. <laughs> uh, but that notwithstanding, these have to be taken very, very seriously. And uh, as you quite rightly say, Niall, uh, either way, Harry's going to be in trouble here, I think. Either he's admitted to this extensive drug use, mushrooms, cocaine and cannabis, either he lied about that in his form, or more to the point, if he... In, if he was honest in his application, in his visa application, he said, yes, I have taken cocaine, mushroom and cannabis. Now, if it was me or you uh, and we said we've taken all the drugs, <laughs> yeah. we wouldn't stand a chance of getting into the United States. Yeah. So if he did admit it, what's he doing there? And once again, why do you think, Niall, that uh, Biden's goons are spending a lot of American taxpayers' money, uh, you know, trying to protect Prince Harry against what I think is your very reasonable uh, campaign to have a look at his visa application. Yeah, Why it's, are they it's, doing a great, it's a great question. And, and also, uh, there was a Newsweek poll on the, this issue. 54% uh, of Americans actually supported a review of Harry's immigration records. So there's strong public support uh, for this. Uh, and with regard to the, the Biden administration's... Uh, motivations here. We'll have to see exactly, I'm based on what's in those, those documents, but they have gone to extraordinary lengths, really, to prevent the release of these documents. Mm. They have behaved without an ounce of transparency or accountability here. Mm. Uh, and this raises big questions overall about the enforcement of US immigration law by American officials. Uh, the issue of, of mass migration into the US, 
is now the number one issue in the U.S. presidential election. There's intense ish, uh, interest in immigration-related matters yeah. in, in America, and the American people have the right to know um, what decision was made on, on the Harry on the Harry front. And uh, if if the the Biden administration has nothing to hide, surely they should be immediately releasing those documents. Although, do you know, I'm going to do something absolutely extraordinary. I'm going to have to wash yes. my mouth out afterwards because I'm going to see if I can defend the fossil. Uh, what I might suggest is perhaps, you know, the Biden administration is looking at this saying, at the end of the day, whatever one thinks of Prince Harry, this is the son of the head of state of our closest ally. Yeah. And no one's saying that Harry's committed mass murder, that Harry's a terrorist. What Harry said in spare is he dabbled in drug taking. More than dabbled. dabbled. Did a big old dabble, did a whole dib dab of a dabble, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, th throughout his uh, younger years. And that perhaps the headache that it might cause diplomatically is something that the Biden administration think is just not worth it for this one guy. Yeah, but wait a second, though, a point taken. But if, that, gonna, if that is the case, that's un-American. The whole point of America is everyone is treated equally, no matter who you are. And if they have done that, a special case for Prince Harry, that is fundamentally un-American, is it not? Well, I mean, it would cause a, di a bit it, of a diplomatic thing. It's not the point, Alex, it's not the point. It's I think America. it's a point I, worth I, I making. It, it, th 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 those are all very good points. I, I would say, though, that, uh, of course, Harry is a, is a non-working royal. Mm. He doesn't represent uh, the British people anymore in any official capacity. Uh, and, and I think that um, uh, Harry should not in any way be, be given any sort of preferential uh, treatment. I, I, I don't think there are big picture implications in terms of US-UK relations, for example, if, if the, uh, the documents were, were released, if wrongdoing was, was found at all. I don't think it has any consequence for the special relationship. In fact, I think most Britons would, would support Harry being held to, uh, held to account, I think. Uh, well, brought back here. I'm not yeah. sure the Brits well, well, yeah, the that, yeah. that's, that, that, that's, that's a good point. Of course, <laughs> a lot, lots of Britons are very, a lot of uh, Brits are very worried about Harry being sent back to the UK. Uh, and uh, I, I think mo most likely, if Harry, Harry did move anywhere, it would be to Canada. Uh, ultra woke I Canada, think, rather than to to the United Kingdom. I think the but, last uh, time they tried that, they didn't want them there either. Well, no, they, <laughs> they came running down to California, didn't they? But uh, a few words, Niall, if you will, about uh, President or uh, the future potentially President Trump and the past President Trump, who said that if he wins this election, he's not going to protect Harry. He's kind of on his own. Uh, so even if Biden manages to uh, allow Prince Harry to stay here, maybe his tenure. Uh, won't last long once Trump gets in. Well, I'm glad you mentioned, of course, President Trump's intervention. So he was asked directly about this case, uh, and he expressed outrage over the, the fact that uh, the documents have not been released to the American people. Uh, Donald Trump said that if he becomes president again, he would not in any way protect or shield Harry. He said that Harry had actually betrayed the Queen. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and Trump said that uh, Harry would be on his own. Uh, frankly. So that, that's a very clear indication that the, the documents would be released under uh, a second Trump uh, administration. But we're, we're fighting through the courts to get these uh, documents released mm. by the Biden administration. Mm. The American people have the right to see these, these documents. Uh, the secrecy surrounding them is unacceptable. Uh, it is fundamentally un-American, I think, the way yeah, yeah. in which the, the Biden administration has approached it's this. Deference, with, deference with, to a VIP in their yeah, view, isn't Yeah, it? treating yeah. somebody completely differently because of their, their royal status. Uh, that, that appears to be a, a possible... Uh, uh, you know, scenario here. That, that is fundamentally un-American, I think. I, I don't know. I'd say if uh, Prince Harry wants to stay in America, he should just fly south of the border and walk back across it. Yeah. That seems to be how a lot of people uh, <laughs> get into getting the back country in, yeah. these days. Millions without the getting getting that way. Yeah. How about it? That's pretty bad down on the south border, isn't it? It is, uh, yeah. Millions coming yeah. through. We're complaining about the odd 10,000 here and 20,000 there. They have millions coming through. Yeah, you've had humanitarian uh, actually, actually close to 10 million uh, people have crossed the border southern border illegally under the Trump administration. Several million have actually been able to stay in the United States. Under it, Biden? Under, 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 under Biden, yes. Yeah, yeah. Under the Biden administration, yeah. 10 million uh, people have, have crossed in. Uh, and uh, I, I think the, these figures are absolutely uh, astonishing. It's an absolute disgrace. It's an open border. So uh, where's in, that in wall? And yes, well, in fact, th that wall needs to be fully built and completed uh, under the next uh, Republican uh, administration. Uh, Biden has been a, an absolute disaster I think on, on this issue and on so many other issues, it's it's a far left wing government in, in my in my view that has operated an open a southern border, completely unacceptable. The number one issue, of course, in the U.S. presidential election, the American people, I think, have had enough uh, of this uh, of this disastrous open 
open border. They want to see strict immigration controls. They want to see a secure border. Uh, and they want to see uh, the US presidency applying the rule of law yeah. in every case. And that includes, of course, in the case of Prince Harry. They probably also want to see a US president and leader of the free world who remembers his own name from time to that, time. That would be good as well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you live in Washington. Uh, we've just been talking about the Biden... Uh, Trump dynamic. Uh, what's your take? Um, I, I'm feeling... I used to live in California, so I've got something of an understanding of that great nation. Uh, and I think Trump is going to win. What do you think? Well, certainly the, the polls uh, give Trump uh, an edge over, over Biden. I think that, that's the reality of the vast majority of polls. Mm. Uh, and I, I think that lead is typically sort of 3 to 5%, something like that. Mm. Uh, but it could well be a, a, very, a very close, uh, close race. Uh, I do think that uh, Joe Biden, as we saw the State of the, State of the Union address, comes across as a, an increasingly angry, bitter, and at some times unhinged uh, a figure, really. Uh, and uh, Biden's State of the Union address, I think, was absolutely appalling. Uh, it was, there was no effort whatsoever to reach across the political aisle. It was a very, very angry uh, address to the, to the country. Uh, and a lot of Americans think, uh, you know, Biden is going out of his mind, uh, frankly. Yeah. And, and I think that uh, there, there's a real lack of confidence in, in Biden's uh, leadership. But also America has moved significantly to the left un under, Joe, under Joe Biden. Uh, he has been captured, I think, by the woke left of his own, of his own uh, party. Uh, and uh, I, I do think, uh, you know, Donald Trump offers, uh, you know, a far more, I would say, uh, compelling vision for America's uh, future in, in the eyes of many Americans, that they want to see change. Uh, and there is a growing view that the Biden uh, presidency has been an absolute monumental catastrophe for, uh, for, the, for the American people. So Biden's got a very tough few months mm. ahead of him. And also, you know, let's not forget, uh, whatever you think about Donald Trump, he's one hell of a campaigner. Mm. Yes. He's damn good on the road. So uh, a very worrying prospect for the not-such-good uh, campaigner, uh, Mr Biden. Yeah, make